What's up guys, it's Cody with 3D Printing and Technology. So for today's video, I'm going to be going over two different types, types of print beds. Mainly the textured sheet and the smooth PEI sheet. These two are the most common ones right now since Presa offers them on their 3D printers. Being the smooth PEI was the default for a while. And they recently got the texture sheet back in. So both of these sheets you can print on both sides since both sides are coated in the material, either textured or smooth. So which is the best sheet for the 3D printer? It depends on the finish you want for your 3D print. The texture is more rough looking and it's like a texture feel, obviously. The smooth PI sheets, similar to our grass bed it will give it a smooth finish each of these sheets you can use without a glue stick or an adhesive just gotta make sure your first layer is calibrated and they're over wrapped the smooth PI sheets are a bit thicker than the texture sheets so you have to offset the whichever one you don't use as the default with the g-code settings obviously these are the only two Bed options you can choose is obviously build tech, a grass bed, some like other restaurant elements like Zflex, which will probably be a different video. Since both of these are my neck plates like my the printer, they both flex a little bit to help you get the print off easier. I've read that the texture sheet you can use flexible filament on. But I have a bit to test that one, have yet to test that out. So I'm gonna be trying that out in this video for the first time. I've printed a flexible filament before, but that was on a smooth PI sheet, which can ruin it if it's not treated properly or for the adhesive or whatever beforehand. There will be a price difference in the two sheets. I think Princess Texture Sheets twenty dollars and it's made PI sheets, not really sure. It was default with the printer, so didn't really pay attention to it. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a print with the texture sheet, with the smooth sheet, and we'll try to do the flex support filament on the texture sheet. Just give you an option of what you can print with and what the fan sheets look like. And I'm still using the iPhone cam or the can see the Still working on getting other cameras fixed and set up. Okay, so now we're printing on these smooth PI sheet. Doing a it's like a simple rectangle. Shouldn't take too long. And yes, I know the exterior is squeaking. It's one of the main problems with this printer I'm working on right now, but a separate video. Alright, so here it is finished. This is the top side. This is the smooth side right here of the PEI sheet. That's what that one looks like. So now we're going to try the texture sheet. So we'll reset the printer to print on that. Okay, so here we have the first layer being printed on the texture sheet. The same exact rectangle model. And about the same time, and it is at negative one millimeter offset. That way, I'll have to do the it's the extra calibration on the printer, just takes more time. So yeah, we're going to let this print and check out once it gets done. Okay, so here we have the textured sheet sample paste done. You see the top side and then flip over you see the textured finish. So get the smooth PH one and the text one. And you can see the difference. This bottom one's more rough and the top one's smooth.
try and get some to focus. So, so now we're going to try printing with a flex filament on the texture sheet because I think you can do so. So here we are trying the flexible filament. It's filament Tim flex fill. Pretty says on the website said texture sheets you can print without adhesive. So we're going to try it. Hopefully it works out. Okay, so here, here is where it was on the bed sheet. So put it off, and there's finish on the back, and there's no spot on the texture sheet where it was printing at, so I guess it works out. I have to do more tests on it in depth. But here's what the three printed flexible piece looks like. And then you can just flex it like this. And it somewhat remains asleep. So we got this one, the textured PLA, and the smooth PLA. So that's the three different samples or examples, three different examples I printed out for this for this video. So obviously you got different choices with the bed sheet options. So if you know you're going to be printing with flexible filament, I suggest the texture sheet. But if you're just doing PLA, I probably recommend the smooth sheet. I also think the texture sheet works good with PET G. I haven't tested it out yet, but it's something I do. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Just showing you the different types of textures to get on the different sheet options and what can and can't print with. Obviously you can print with flexible filament and other type of filaments like that on the smooth sheet but you will need to have some sort of protection on it or whether that's talcum powder, painter's tape, captain tape, the IPA. There's different options you can use but if you don't use one of those it'll possibly damage the smooth surface on it but I don't typically like using adhesives because it leaves the print bed dirty and you'll have to clean it for the next time anyways back to the video and see you next videos first make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week